Hello there. My name is James. Welcome to my channel, Gear Solid. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been having a lot of questions from people on Quora, and I felt, why don't I share these on YouTube? Because these are very good questions that, if answered properly, would be very much um, valuable to most people who are also wanting same um, answers. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. So um, my next question here is, what is the best beginner filmmaking book every filmmaker should read? Well, th there are a lot. There are a lot. There are a lot. Okay, I'll list, I'll list a couple of them and then leave the links in my description below. So you can click on them and then follow it to the page and read or download if it's a PDF file. And also, I'll check to see if I can get all the books that I'm about to list here. Zip them in a, in a zip file. Upload them on my Google Drive and share the link here so you can just download it. So you might see two things, okay? Either links or my Google Drive. Either of them is fine. You can, you can follow them and get them. My number one book is going to be Sid, film book on screenwriting. Now, after reading this book, I bet you are going to have the zeal that you can also write a script. It's very technical and it gives a lot of insight on how to write each character and also how certain scenes um, should be written. Number two is going to be in the blink of an eye. If you are an editor, you can't afford not to read this book. You can't. Actually, it's very straightforward, very psychological on how to play a role as a, uh, how to play your role as a video editor. One thing I like about this book is it places you both in an editor's perspective and also a viewer's perspective on how certain scenes operate. Yeah, yeah. Number three, my third book is going to be Making Movies by Sidney Lumet. If you really want to get serious with your directing skills as a beginner, then check out this book. It explains each craft with real-time examples on set. No books get better than this one. My number four is going to be film directing Shot by Shot by Steve Kaz. Steve Katz, K-A-T-Z, Steve Katz. This book speaks on various shots and when to use um, which type of shots, film blocking, film blocking, etc. I think if you happen to be in a film seminar, you should already be having this one. And also, um, they also give it out as graduation handouts in certain school, um, film schools. So. I know most people would already be having this. Okay, so um, I think I'll be listing out more in my description, but aside books, okay? Aside books, you should have one or two people you can look up to. Pay attention closely to them. Also, make sure at least there are people you can contact if your situation gets critical. As a beginner, watching people on YouTube and other places isn't isn't um is good but isn't enough okay you need to speak with them and let them know what you actually have in mind so they can share with you some simple tips here and there i think it's better to um, be close with people who can share with you their experience and risk they took which made them a success just so you don't have to um, go and um, take those risks because you already know what works and what don't work my next question is going to be, okay, this one, very long one. It says, hey, James, recommend five movies with hot kissing in them. What? Whoa, this guy is on a different level. He, oh, Titanic, 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 okay? Check out Titanic. I've actually not watched Titanic. Is it weird? Like people talk about it all the time. It's a dope movie, it's a dope movie. I've never watched it. Yeah, so Titanic. I think that one is manageable. You can manage that one for now. As time goes on, I'll search for more and then send them to you. He asked the question anonymously, so I'm not even going to reply him because 
I don't know, maybe it's a kid, it's a little kid. Somewhere. Disturbing people on Kura. My next question is, are there stunt doubles for adult scenes? My sincere answer is going to be yes. Yes. I actually don't know how it works because I have not worked on movies that have adult scenes in them before. So, um, but let me give you an example. For instance, if you see an actress naked in a scene and her face isn't, isn't showing, okay, it's just her back, her back, then the probability of it being a body double is high. It's very high. Aside that there are also prosthetics used in scenes that go deep okay scenes that get down i don't know how best i could explain that yeah so uh, he asked me a question he wants an answer to he wants an answer scenes that get real like the, those scenes are the real deal okay they didn't come to play real deal they use prosthetics and other stats to make it seem real it's actually not real okay let's move on to the next question because my mind is beginning to freeze right now so he says i filmed the video on an iphone in 4k i would like to edit the video with the help of adobe premiere pro but it doesn't play smoothly what can i do where might the problem lie okay so um the spec of your machine plays a major role in this the 4k recording on a smartphone isn't that big okay a, a smartphone recording 4k could be up to 60 megabytes per second which isn't too much to put pressure on your on your computer so if a smartphone's 4k is putting pressure unless maybe you shot in 4k at 60 frames 4k 60 frames would give you uh what 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 put some pressure on your computer but 4k at 24 30 frames isn't going to be a severe threat to your computer it's not but my solution to this is going to be creating proxies okay that's the solution if you don't have the money to upgrade right now i would leave a link in the description which would lead you to a channel which which um, will teach you how to create proxies very easy very easy so you would find a link in the description below you can go and then check it out my next question is going to be do vfx artists work in movie studio can they see the director how do i answer this so i'm sure what he's trying to say is do vfx artists contribute to are VFX artists allowed on set? Okay, whilst the movie is ongoing, are VFX artists around? Like, are they around, you know, doing their thing? The answer is going to be a yes and a no, okay? Unless maybe you live in the city or you just want to be there. If the director allows you, then that's fine. Other than that, you would have to be a VFX supervisor in order to be there whilst the shoot is ongoing. There is a stage also called the pre-visualizing stage where VFX artists and director meet to visualize a particular scene. And if it's going to be possible, then the director could um, call action. Other than that, I don't see hundreds of VFX artists attending a movie shoot like a birthday party. My next question is going to be, what is an unpopular movie you enjoy too much? An unpopular movie I enjoy so much. I would give it to this Indian movie. Okay, it's a Netflix movie. You can check it out if um, you, you have Netflix and bored not doing anything. Serious Men. Serious Men. Serious Men. It's an Indian movie. I like the story, like the plot. I like everything. The cinematography. I like everything about that particular Indian movie. <sighs> okay, so uh, my next question is going to be this guy i think he's a gamer he's a gamer okay he says hey james could you list 10 pc games that are below 20 gigabytes it doesn't take 
the most powerful nations on Earth to create the next global conflict. Just the will of a single man. Far Cry 3 and 4, Splinter Cell, Blacklist, Splinter Cell, Blacklist, okay? One, Splinter Cell, Blacklist, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, Hitman Absolution, yeah, Crisis 1, 2, 3, you can check out Crisis 1, 2, 3 too. And I think that'll be it, that'll be it. Okay, so let me move on to my last question and then I'll be done for the day. Well, this is a little bit long. It says, hey James, my mom told me my dad has a small... What? What? Whoa. This isn't funny. I mean, I woke up this morning as a Christian. You can do this to me. Clearly, you can't do this to me. You are something else. Hmm? You are something else. I thought this was going to be my last question, but I think I would have to end here. I woke up as a Christian this morning. You can do this to me. You can do this to me. You are something else.